Welcome back to my channel. I am going to be converting VHS home videotapes to a digital format on my Mac. You can do the same thing with the same equipment that I have on a PC. However, I don't have a PC, so I am just going to show you Mac. I searched up and down for a converter that wasn't going to break the bank, but did a good job, and I think I definitely found it, and it is on Amazon, and I'm going to show you guys everything I use. So let's get started. First thing you're going to need is you're going to need a VCR. And by the way, you're not going to see my face. You're just going to be, hello, this is Allison's hands. So you're only going to be with my hands today. You're going to need a VCR. Voila. This VCR only had a three prong option. So you can have the four prong, the little circle thing, but this one only have only had three. Either is fine. I have one of these cables and both ends have all that, the video, sound, output, input, all the good stuff. So you're gonna need one of these. Ignore my VCR. If you notice the top is off of this. I have some VHS tapes from the 80s, home videos that are hanging on by a thread and I have to manually feed them through and sometimes it wants to be eaten. So yes, it's been kind of strategic. I'm not gonna get into all that, but it's been interesting. <laughs> this is for videotapes that work. The other thing that you're going to need is this. This is your converter and I got this from Amazon after reading reviews and going through different ones, going through expensive ones, whatever, I took a chance on this one. This is about, I think $28. If you guys know how much it costs to send just one video, I have a giant tub down here of VHS home videos. If I sent all of those off, it would be very expensive. This is literally gonna cost me my time and $28. This is a USB video grabber. You can put these on DVD, but the way I'm doing it is I'm putting them on my computer and if I choose to do a DVD later, I can do that. So you do have more than a digital option here. In this, you have your converter. You can see I've already, I've been using this, so it's already all open. So your converter looks like this. This end is gonna be going into the VCR and then you have this thing and then you have the other end, which is just a USB. It does come with instructions and it comes with a CD-ROM with the software. You need the software because it will allow you to put and record whatever is playing on the VCR onto the computer. I don't have a DVD. Computers and stuff are updated. I do have an external one. However, you can download this for Windows or for Mac, and the company does have a website where you can download that, so you really, technically don't need this so I wouldn't worry about it about getting an external disk drive if you don't have one unless you're wanting to burn some of these VHS's onto a DVD. The other things that you will need are your home video so I have some regular um, VHS tapes. This is one of the smaller tapes so if you have some of these smaller tapes I forget what they're called. If you have those you are gonna need a case to put them in so you can stick them into your VCR. Do you guys remember these? Throwback, you know? Essentially, you're just projecting whatever's in this VCR onto here. You're doing it just like if it were on a TV. It's a monitor. If you do have these old VHS Disney things that I, I still have mine, you can actually watch them on your Mac if you want to. So my kids have been enjoying that. What I'm gonna do right now is I'm going to plug everything where it should go. Firstly, I have my VCR plugged into power, like in power outlet, obviously to turn it on. Um, this one my family had. You can get some VCRs, um, maybe eBay, or maybe v I see them at, um, I would suggest if you are getting one, you don't know if it works, put a VHS that you don't care about in it first, so you don't ruin a home movie. I'm gonna take the just the regular cable, not the converter, put them in. The right colors, match them up. You guys going back in time yet? My little boy is over here if you hear anything. It is very nostalgic to put a VHS into a VHS or a VCR. It was a very weird feeling. Okay, so I have this plugged in just like you would back in the day. Now I have the converter and I am taking, I'm sure all this is self-explanatory. So you do have the option to use this if your VCR has it. I don't, so just using this. So I'm just going to plug it into each color. I'm sure you guys this is probably common sense, but I'm just gonna do it anyways. And then, so you have this whole long thing. Here, here's where you are connecting it and you can see your VHS onto your computer. To a USB port in the back of my Mac. 
you want to do this first before you install the software. I made that mistake and I thought the software was not running on my Mac. By the way, their customer service for this product is really good. I emailed them thinking I did something wrong and they emailed back about an hour after. So, but I'd already figured it out. Don't make the same mistake I did. You do not install your software until, until you have plugged up this. So you'll know that it's going when you see that it has a little blue light. Then you can go and install the software via CD or um, just the website. I just use the website. I didn't mess with the CD. Obviously, it's already installed on my computer. So pretend like I just plugged it in. Pretend like we went through. It will prompt you, you know, help you along the way to download it. I've already downloaded it, obviously, and it'll look something like this. I could do a video screen grab here. That would be the smart thing, but... This little square is called a video grabber. You have the options up here. I would do a video gr screen grab here, but I'm going to be showing you guys back and forth with the VCR. So I have a little square here once you download everything. The instructions given to you is also very helpful. At this point, what you will do when that little, you have that little square, up, is you will pick your VHS tape. I'm going to I have this one ready to go. Listen to these sounds, you guys. Okay. <laughs> okay, so. And you will see what happened here. At the same time, you have this, and it looks just like it would look on your, you're essentially just projecting your video. I don't know if this is rewound. Welcome back to 1999, where we had to rewind things. Let me rewind this. So it does prompt you, it tells you, you know, if you're at the beginning or the end of the video that's in the VHS, or the VCR player. <clears throat> this is, what's gonna take you the longest time is recording. It's not hard, it just takes a long time because it has to play, your VHS has to play in real time to record it. Now, it won't play sound while you're recording and you can do anything else on your computer. So you can just let them play and you can work on your computer and stuff and you won't hear it or anything. You also can just watch them and you can hear the sound. I'm gonna actually turn my volume down so that you don't hear my home video. But play on the VHS. This is my little boy's head. So you see that it's playing. I have um, turned the volume off so you can't hear. This is a trip in Mexico that I was on. Now it's just playing. It's not recording. You can hear it. I think. So you can hear it and watch it. Oh, cool. Oh, cool. Okay, but I'm going to turn the volume off. So to record it, what you're going to do you have, you know, your, you can go to file, edit, all that stuff. You have an option to record, and I kind of just left everything the way it is. There's no reason to make your quality crazy high because it's only going to capture the low quality it already is. There is a prompt to record. It will let you know when it started recording, and then it will give you an option. You name your video. We're going to put Mexico. Mexico. 2004. I'm going to save it for that and you can choose. I have, oh, I also wanted to mention, I do have an external hard drive down here that I save my YouTube videos and I'm going to be saving. I will link my external hard drive that I have. Um, it's pretty large. I would suggest doing that if you're going to be doing a lot of VHSs to just save them on an external hard drive. I will link mine below. When it's prompting me right here to label it and where I want to put it, I'm going to be putting it in my external hard drive. You can just put it wherever you your heart desires. I'm going to save it there. And then you see this. It will not play sound while it is recording. And if you ever want to stop it, you just click this box right here. And then you're done. You do have to let it play. There's no, like, it grabbing it. It just has to play all the way through. The video is an hour long. Then it's going to need to play and record for an hour. So you're going to need a lot of storage, essentially. Because if you're, you know, you have an hour home video, that's a lot of storage on your computer, depending on your size. And so I'm going to stop it. There we go. And then it says your movie has been recorded. I'll press OK. And then it will be wherever I left it, which is I have a extra storage. If I had saved it to the desktop, it would pop up in the desktop. I actually have it just over here in an external hard drive. You can just enjoy watching them as well if you want to. Another thing to know is, so right now it's not recording, so I can just listen. If you don't want to hear it, if you click outside of the box, the sound will go away. At one point, I thought my sound was messed up on my VHS, but really I just had to click that box. And then I click outside again, click the box. So don't let that <laughs> make you think that it wasn't working. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I really hope this saves you a lot of money and saves your home videos. You guys go convert these. I have a few home videos that are literally hanging on a thread. My parents wedding video with all my great great grandparents in it. All kinds of special things that are literally hanging on. These things do not, the film does not last. Even in the right storage, it's not going to last. So definitely go convert these. I really hope this is helpful. Leave me a comment below if you end up doing this, if you end up buying this. Yeah, the customer service is really great. They will give you a contact if you need help. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Bye. Bye.